Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and welcome to my web development cloud and IoT education channel. Today with this video, I'm going to start a new series of tutorials about C and C++ programming with Arduino framework. The plan for these tutorials is to keep them relatively short, up to 10 minutes for the video, but I will try to compress as much information in them as possible. As for the form, I'm gonna keep step-by-step -step thorough explanation. The focus in this series of videos will be mainly on the programming part. The programs themselves are gonna be microcontroller agnostic. That means they can be run on any microcontroller that is compatible with Arduino framework, like the official ones or the ones I have videos about on my channel, like ESP32 or ESP8266. But actually, to follow these tutorials and reproduce my steps, you don't even need to own a microcontroller. You don't need to install any software like Visual Studio Code or Arduino IDE either. And that is because most of the programs that we build together will be run using an online simulator called Wokwi. It's a free tool that is very simple to use. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how it works. But before I do that, let me start from a quick introduction to Arduino framework programming. And first, let me explain what actually is Arduino framework or Arduino core, as it's called in the official GitHub repository. So Arduino framework is a set of functions, classes, structs, variables, and constants that simplify giving the instructions to the microcontroller, like reading the voltage from the pins, changing the voltage on the pins, modulating electrical signal, controlling other electronic components, exchanging the data between the computer and microcontroller, and many, many other features that we're gonna learn about in the future videos. So in short, it's something like a toolbox with the most useful tools to program a microcontroller. And the main advantage of this toolbox, apart from being open source and free to use, right, is the fact that it's so universal. Literally, any microcontroller you pick, as long as its manufacturer provides Arduino core integration, you can write the same code and expect almost the same behavior from this code. Additionally, we have a whole ecosystem of libraries written by the community, so there is an extensibility potential as well. Right, so I hope I clarified it a little bit. However, if some of the terms I used are not known to you, don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything in the next videos. Okay, so the theoretical part for today is done. Let's move to the practical now. Let me show you this online simulator called Wokwi, where you can run Arduino framework code in your browser. So here I am on my computer, browser opened, and the website that you can see here is Wokwi Online Arduino Simulator. Link to the website, wokwi.com. You can find it in the description of the video. And here I'm gonna show you how to open the simulator by creating a new project. So start a new project is the section we want to look at now. We have a choice here between these three boards. We've got Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega and ESP32. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna pick the first one, which is Arduino Uno. So I'm gonna click on it. And here we have the simulator opened. On the left, we can see the code editor. So this is where we write the code to program the microcontroller. And on the right, we have a simulation tab and Arduino Uno board. This is where we build the circuit and where we run our uh, simulations. Right, okay, let me show you how to add uh, parts uh, here. So you can do it by just clicking on this add a new part button, the plus button, so I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm going to choose the first one, which is LED. And what we can see is a LED diode showing up. Now I can do a drag and drop to move it somewhere, maybe here. Let me maybe zoom this in to zoom this view in, we use this button. And here we've got zoom in. So I'm just going to do it. Or actually simpler is to just click on fit. So that's gonna fit everything on the screen. 
and now it's it's bigger and more visible, isn't it? Okay, so let me show you how to wire this up. So let's say I'm going to wire up pin number 10 with the longer uh, leg of the diode. What you need to do is to just click on the digital pin number 10. And then once you move your mouse, you can see this wire being drawn on the screen. You can bend it by clicking somewhere on the screen. So if I do that, I can continue drawing it right and change its shape. But yeah, ultimately what I want to do is to just click on the longer leg of the diode to wire this up. Then the other end should just go to the ground. Um, yeah, but actually it would be nice to add a resistor in between, right? This is how this circuit should be built. I mean, we don't know the rating of the diode, but let's just um, add a resistor so I can show you how to remove a wire. To remove the wire, just click on it and that's it, it disappears. And let's add the resistor in between. It doesn't really show you or allow to change the resistance, right, of that resistor. So actually maybe it is possible. No, it doesn't seem like. So these circuits are very simplified but we're gonna be focusing more on the coding part with these tutorials, so I wouldn't be worried about it. Okay, so we've got a simple circuit. And now for the coding part, I'm not really gonna do it today. Instead, I'm gonna show you a ready example because Wokwi has a whole library of examples. Let me show you how to open an example. So I'm gonna click on Wokwi logo, then yes, I want to leave this page. And when I scroll down in here, we can see some examples. We have three main examples and we can just click here for more. But yeah, let me maybe show you servo motor example. This is a very simple one. So yeah, I clicked on it and we can see this opened right on the left. There is a code to program the servo motor. And on the right, we have, uh, we can see a bit of the board, but yeah, I think let's use this fit fit uh, option here to see the whole circuit, right? There is a servo motor that is wired up with Arduino Uno. And now to start the simulation, I just need to click on start the simulation button, the play button. And there we go, right? We see this motor started working. In the top right corner, we, we've got a timer. And these buttons changed, right? We've got restart the simulation now, stop the simulation, and pause the simulation. If I pause, then the timer stops and the motor stops and I can resume it after a few seconds. And then when I click on stop, it's just going to stop. And yeah, this is really it in terms of uh, this Arduino online simulator. The main tool I'm going to be using in this series of tutorials. If you find my content useful and you don't want to miss the next video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is it for today. Thanks for watching and see you until the next video. Cheers. Bye.